Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, from Evil Extreme here. Here we are on Altaché Vestervold. I'm sure if I hopefully I pronounced that right. This is by KA77E. 326.66 megabytes to download. There is five required mods, all by Bruno Sick, including the Hyson Farm, the Silo and Containers, the Old Green Mill, Fire Department and Farmer's Market. So, five required mods, not too bad. Don't like maximum required mods, however, if it's a handful of mods, I can get away with it, I'll let it slide. But yeah, so, Altaché, if I pronounce that right, I know I did it in the first bit correctly, I think. But yeah, that translates to basically Aldo. So this is a little German village and it says as following. Welcome to this map, Aldo, called Altaché. It is an idyllic village at the foot of the beautiful Vestervold. Here, where the cold wind whistles over the heights, strong hands and solidarity is required. The farmers on the local farms work closely together under the label Landfunde Altaché. But the residents in the Altaché are closely connected beyond the farm life. Everyone knows everyone. People like to meet up in the outdoor pool on hot summer days, have football battles on the hard court, protect the village during exciting fire brigade or during exciting fire brigade operations, and at the end of the day, in the rustic inns. What does this map offer? It goes as fallen. One open cow pasture with a maximum of 80 cows, five farms, a Dorhof with a maximum of 45 cows, a Wallerhof starting farm with a maximum of 8 cows and 60 chickens, Sonhof, if I'm pronouncing that right, with 160 cows, Windhof with 540 pigs, and Glugshof, that is 28 horses. And I do apologise if I butcher it. If any Germans are watching and I'm butchering this, I do apologise. <laughs> At least I try in. But yeah, all farms can be purchased and managed via the farmland. And Wellhof, Sonnenhof, Windhof and Luxhof can be completely removed. Cow farm and pig farm are ready for the manure system, which is the PC only mod. Open cow pasture, Dunhof and Sonhof are ready for the reason Adam and animal grazing, another PC mod. Two field barns, 20 fields, 12 meadows, three forestry areas, one small farm building, what four large building areas for your own creative building ideas. First of sell and production points, two production buildings with new products, production factory fries, farm and garden production, strawberry milk, strawberry jam, and mixed salads. Are you ready to become part of the Altai Shape? So roll up your sleeves and get busy. So yep, welcome to this little German map, and yep, I've already put money in, that's why we're at 202 million. But in terms with slot counts on new farmer mode, which we're on, it is 1026. For farm manager and start from scratch, it goes down to 849. So yep, there are obviously five farms on the map. Terms with new farmer mode, what do you start off with first of all? First of all you got plot 35, field 1, plot 47 which is your main farm, along with field 20, and that's it. And plot 1, or field 1, I'm pretty sure that is going to be your cow pasture. Nope, that's your field. Cow pasture is just up the road I think. Next to field 4. Anyway, so we're at the main farm, and this one is Valenhof. So, yeah, let's go open the gates. I'll keep the help menu all open up for now. So, got your farmhouse, which is just here. And, yeah, got your chicken coop, which is just here. Yeah, 360 chickens. So, yeah, in terms with your starting equipment, you start off with the following. For small tractors, we've got the Fent Favorite, oh sorry, Fent Favorite 515C. For medium tractors, you've got the Valtra Valmet 8750. Got your Deutz Ford Top Liner 49 Combine Harvester, along with the 6 meter Trader and Header Trader. For your trailers, you got the Rudolf TDK 301 RP. Got the Welger DK 115. 
Got the Aromas POV 5XL Plow. A Amazon Sino, Sino 4000 Super. Along with the Amazon KG 3001 Super. Along with the Amazon Centea 3000 Super. For rollers, you got your Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD. Got your Amazon ZATS 3200 Furloy Spreader. Got a manure spreader, the Bratner TA 120E50 Power Spread Plus. Also, you got a soil spreader, the Farmtech Supersys 800. For mowers, you got the Kuhn GMD 4411, along with the Kuhn GMD 3123F. For your tethers, you got the Kuhn GF8712. For your wind rowers, you got the Kuhn GA4731. Also got a forage wagon, a Stratman Zelon CFS 2501DO. For your baiters, you got the Kuhn VB3190. For your animals, you've got a mixed wagon, a Farsin PF 2.24 Plus, along with a Lizard MKS 8 water built transport, along with a quickie front loader, a fork, of course, your head trader, and your 10 main coal pack 750, 750 kilogram weight. So, yeah, this is your farm. So, obviously, yes, a lot of this is part of the buildings pack as required with the mod. However, I'm going to look around the map, and this is why I don't mind required mods on some maps. Not all maps, if anything, most maps I don't like them. But it's used correctly and it's used well. Of course, you've got your silos and that. And in terms with build mode, so yeah, you do have a couple of sheds as part of the given map. Under silos. So you've got your silos and containers. Your Hessen farm, and that's it. Site so extensions, and that's it. Just the containers. Same with silos and containers. Tools, nothing. Farmhouse, nothing, just part of the required mod. And the same goes with all your other productions and that. There's nothing else you need, just the farm building or farm sheds. Refreeze that. But yeah, a little tour of the main farm and that. Open gate there. Of course, if you're already familiar with these mods, then. Yeah, fair enough. Ballsy. These ones aren't commonly used on maps. Usually it's... Fair enough, there's a lot of it. It's anything that's Dutch. Anything that's Dutch is usually part of the required mods. But yeah, so you've got your equipment over here. So you've got your tanker, your spreader, combine air. Got your bather and power roll roller. And yeah, everything's all placed, all ready, all nice and tidy. Got nothing in the mixer wagon. And uh, turns with your animals. So yeah, you've got 11 chickens and 5 cows. Now looking at the PDA. Obviously that's what you start off with. And uh, yeah, in general, the map ain't that big. It's probably about, I'll uh, say, just over half the size of a normal map. However, that doesn't mean is anything less to lack. So you've got your shop area down here. This is your cross from the main farm. And then also you've got your swim pool, bistro. Got your amateur ship with your straw and feet bell cell point. And you've got your grain mill and a war point over there. Farm shop, village. You've got your sports club in that. Got your land trades in that. So that's going to be your cell points. And in terms of cell points, you've got your agricultural goods, agricultural trade, grain mill, land trade, wholesale, and there is a buying station that you can buy supplies. And for things like your root crops, they can go into the production plant, the restaurant as well, or at least the production plant for that. So yeah, you can buy everything in terms of from the farm supply silo or buying station farm supplies but overall it's not too bad there's no custom crops or anything like that as far as I can gather and in terms with crop candor that is base game so yeah nothing special about that 
But yeah, let's hop into a tractor sec, or a little pickup, and then we'll go around the map and have a little look around. And also, I'll go and purchase all the extra areas on the map that we'll be looking at during the map tour. So yeah, just hop into our fed there. And yeah, go on and purchase the extra areas. So actually, that's not one. That's a little shed down there, which we'll look at. And yeah, these areas I smart in, yeah, that looks very similar to like your wheat and barley. Oh no, sorry, more so your wheat. These are just building areas. So got one farm down here. This is your main farm. Got another farm a couple of streets over. You got a cow pasture on plot 40. And then your four plots of land that you can use to create fields or create your farm area is just up here. Got a building lot up here that you can build on. Got another farm up here. And then lastly, you got another farm down here. And yeah, for fill prices themselves, they aren't that expensive. I say in mo moderate they are. Up to 400 grand, 300 grand for some fields. I mean, for like the buildable lot areas you're looking at, 70 to 100 grand. So yeah, a little bit steep for the sizes maybe, but they're not out of this world expensive. But yeah, so let's go out of here, so... We'll leave the farm here. So yeah, we're just coming out of the farm here. And I think what we'll do is we'll head left, go down to the shop, look around down here, and then we'll go loop around like so. Why stop, you idiot? But yeah, like, overall this map, it's a quaint little village that is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good when it comes to words and that, but yeah, beautiful and that. And it does have that little bit of, like, it feels a little bit big in that as well. And yeah, this is going to be your shop area, including your workshop trigger and reset points. And that one's going to be one of your cell points over here as well. Yeah, despite so some assets being used, the actual map maker themselves have used their own stuff or at least stuff that ain't as part of a required mod. So, props to that. I think that's why I, I didn't complain as much. But this ain't going to be a ranty map or anything. Unlike maybe with the other map that's come out today, but we'll leave it for that map tour that. But yeah, anyways, head over here and that. Oops. Yeah, drive on the wrong side of the road, I know. But yeah, this is going to be your arm dealership. Your dial box trigger arrow is here for the arm dealer. Like your stroll, like your bell cell points, and all that is going to be here. Yeah, I just like, love the little bits of details, like the wood details and that. It's just, it adds characters, it adds good vibes to the farm. What else can you say about that? Oh yeah, hen out of here. We'll go straight across and... Yeah, there's like a little plot area over here that you can purchase. Yeah, so you've got like a little shed here. Can you use the shed? Alright, fair enough. You can actually source off, off your farm in that. Or, you, yeah, again, you can use this and that, so... Yeah, we've got the air purchase, so you can Yeah, you can sell that if you wish, a small garage. And basically use that as an area to whatever you desire and need. Nice undulations with the fields. And yeah, it doesn't yeah, it's not a big map than that, of course, but it doesn't feel small, it doesn't feel restricted in a way. And yeah, you're not going to have your X9 combines now on this map. Saying that, no me, I'll probably try it with an X9 combine, but... Yeah, I'm joking, of course. Anywho. 
and head up here, and this is going to be farm number two. I oh, am yeah, as mentioned, you can clear the farms if you want. So this is Sonnehof. Sonnehof. Oh yeah, as mentioned, you can clear this. And she can clear pretty much all of the farms. Again, a little spacious old details in that. So Sonnehof, this will have your horses. Oh sorry, sorry, cows. Ah yeah, if you say you want to clear the farm. It would look like this. Like so, and yeah, still got a, bit, a couple of fences after that, and yeah, of course you got the div in that, and do that to as you wish. You can raise the terrain if you wish and that, but yeah, that's a, I think they are say individual preference, but so yeah, that's the thing as well, like the farms, you can actually get rid of them. Okay, I didn't clear everything now, just did, sort of did a quick clearance, just to demonstrate on what you can do. At the end of the day, it's one of those, these are one of those maps where, literally, if I was to do Vintage Survival on Zilonka, I'm going to move on to here now. And, yeah, fuel prices are quite expensive, but, yeah, overall it's not too bad, could be worse. Anywho, we'll hop across, and I think this is going to be our green mill up here. Oh no, no ain't, correction. This is going to be your vest vault. So yeah, we've just come up here. So yeah, this is going to be one of your agricultural cell points. If I get a trigger on that. But yeah, agricultural... Yep. Yeah. Best folds and that, whatever. Oops, gone off there a little bit. But anyway, so like with a lot of these cell points and production areas, you can just loop around in that. So there's no really awkward turns in that. You don't need to do three ten point turns or anything like that. Just loop around, out you go. And then, yep, next we'll head left up here. And yeah, like, the idea, yeah, as the map pretty says, it is a idyllic, beautiful German countryside. And yeah, there's not much else to say about that. So yeah, cut across here and that. Not into the fields. But yeah, we do have contracts as well on the map. A couple of contracts and that, decent prices and that. Of course, they're going to be the biggest profits and that, because of the small fields and that. Anywho, this is going to be your farm production area, including your buy point for some of your products. So, go your suit crusher there, straight ahead. This is going to be your buying silo over here. And then we'll have a little loop around. And it's going to be a, another cell point. So, yeah. This is more of a small to medium-ish. I say medium-ish, Nat. Oops, actually no, you've forgotten that. How small the map is, Nat. We'll go up here. Because, yeah. This is going to be your building lot areas as well. But yeah, I say medium-ish, Nat. You can't get away with some medium equipment. Again, it depends on to what you use, Nat. Especially when it comes to traders and that. So yeah, you've got huge, vast plot areas. So let's get the map up. See, so it's all divided into sections. So that's one section. This is another section. And yeah, just go across. Section number three. And here is section four. So yeah, do you have some trees here? And... Yeah, there is forestry surrounding the map, but not all of it is purchasable. Well, there are purchasable forestry areas, but not as much. So yeah, for example, look on PDA. You can't purchase outside of the periphery map. You do have a couple of forestry areas down here, down here, and down here. 
and at the very least you can purchase them like within the confines of the map you can purchase all of the area not the outside boundaries like just here and that which is like a fainty yellow but regardless apart from that you can purchase most of the map so again props to the map maker there so just come back from where we came from we've got a little entrance way there to field six and then yeah we'll head up here and yeah this is going to be a, another sort of placeable area in that by the looks of it so it looks like sort of a bit of a junkyard in the area but together in that we'll have a look that's how i do these map tours where i'll have a quick look at some details but not everything into much length so Pull into here now, and yeah, it just looks like a old area. Nat, stop checking. Yep, yeah, old area purchased. Can you clear these? So, yeah, so you can clear the construction site. And yep, yeah, there we go. And yeah, this is next to your production plant. So, yeah, trigger now is all over here. So yeah, this is where you can get your French fry, so 1920 cycles a month, 50 to 40, a 5 to 4 ratio. So yeah, overall, or 1.25 to 1. So yeah, not too bad. Also, you can make your sugars and oils over here. Ah yeah, you got your fermented silo at Dorhof, or Dorfluff. So that is 120,000 years a month you can produce. But yeah, so out of here. So yeah, you can use that there and use this area now. You can transform it into a root crop storage area. There's a few root crop storage mods, including uh, a root crop ish storage mod that came out today. The, the Earth Fruit Storage in that, or something along those lines. But yeah, that can hold 500,000 litres, so use that if you want. But yeah, again, use your imagination. There is, again, a lot of creativity can be done with this map. Oh yeah, that just said, oh, uh, was it no cars in motorcycles? But yes, and this is private land, and we're at Windhof. So yeah, again, another farm lap that can be cleared, if you want. Yeah, bell and plant storage, I thought it was by the looks of it. Also, I should turn automatic engine off. Or really, automatic engine start in that, so... Yeah, without getting lost on my own farm. Yeah, follow the actual farm... Yeah, follow the farm track. Follow the farm track, you can't really get lost. But again, yeah, like the use of assets, it's, it's been done well. Yep, yeah, it's part of a core mod in that. The core mods, I will mark a map down. It can't be, I'd say, a 5 out of 5 using assets from the mod hub, unfortunately. But still, that's not me being harsh or anything like that, or overly harsh. That's just me being me on how I would rate a map. But still, we still can do be a four and a half out of five and so far I can't really fault the map as such. There's like nothing major I should not even minorly wrong from as far as I can gather. Land and forest rich Vika Fry. Um not sure what that means but I'm just going this way. So yeah you do have, have your forest errors here. And actually, it's quite dense. For, again, for a small map of that, you do have some nicely dense forestry areas. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut across this field over here, fly the back of it. Because, yeah, this is going to be farm number four, three, four. I've already lost count on that, and this is a small map, as I mentioned. So, oh, lovely job there. On to the road, Z road we go. So yeah, there's gonna be another production area over here. 
right, so let's go and have a little swap and have a look. So this is going to be your sawmill. Yeah, seems about normal than that. Oh yeah, your other farm that is just behind us here. So yeah, we'll another stop point here. Oh yeah, here is your farm. Right nicely tucked into the town. And this is Dornhof. So this is the one with your production side out. So you have seat trigger and close trigger. Warp point is just here. Got a, was it seats or multi silo over here? Sheds. Like so. Yeah, again, I'm not going to show off every detail on every farming act. Just showing the generics of what it's going to be on all farms. There's some variations. So, yeah, has five cows on this farm. The farm up north that we deleted that had eight cows. So, yeah, another bell and pad storage. Also, another placeable area by the looks of it, so you can delete. Oh no, oh, it looked like, oh no, there's a soccer field. Now, I just saw the grey now, like, from here, from this angle here. Didn't see the goal post or anything, but... Yeah, overall not too bad, so... Yeah, out of here. So yeah, we've looked around up there. Only thing we need to do is, yeah, we're actually, you know We'll loop back around down to the war point, wrap up north, and then finish down south. Yeah, because we already looked at that, so we'll finish at the last farm down here. Yeah, nice, picturesque, idyllic German map. Small, but again, it is filled with details and that, another production area. Again, I'm not used to some, maybe some of these production mods use and that, so... Actually, no, one minute. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's base game um, recipes and that, in terms of production rates. Yeah, love the detail. Got your fire station there to your left. Uh, can you purchase that and sell it? No, unlike with the other map we're going to be looking at today. Oh yeah, look at this map first of all, because it's seen the... Uh, what's the word? Better map of the two and that. So yeah, head up here. Sorry. <laughs> Just looking at my phone and that. But yeah, out of two maps, this looks like the better map of the two. And again, let's require mods. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a real sticking point for me. But yeah. Again, bring me over here. Uh, sim yeah, base game recipes by the looks of it. Yeah, base game recipes and that. Oh yeah, there's why I have issues now with hard mods and that. It's, at the end of the day, it's a personal thing. Another wall point here to the right. Yeah, again, if it's Soul's first map, I'm gonna bash them like out of hell in that. Go for the forestry heck it. Yeah, I'm gonna bash someone's first map in that, but someone like KA 770 in that has been doing some maps in that for a fair while, I think. Again, no, again, it's only using a handful of mods in that, so I don't have an issue with that. When it gets to like 18, yes, 18 required mods, anything into double digits, unless it's been done absolutely perfectly well I'm gonna have issues with which... but yeah if it's on first map again on I'm, I'm yeah on its life it's on first couple of the maps yeah fair enough but yeah overall yeah not a fan of recording mods and that but anyways back on the map tour this is gonna be none of your main cell points head back onto the road and then yeah I think that's going to be pretty much for the map. Just going to look at the final farm down here. And then that's where we're all leaving for today. So here we go. Take a left. Take a right. And yeah, this is going to be just past the farm sign, I think. Nope. I thought there was a farm sign here. Oh no, it's just, yeah. Airborne and Al, yeah, Alf, 
Ramsey Street. Camera how to pronounce it again. Again, I'm going to rely on translating tools to. It's more the pronunciation, it's not the translation. But German than that, it's vague. I'll say it's out of 10, maybe a 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, if at most. Just because, obviously, as many people know, I am a fan of Rammstein. I've seen their concerts here in the UK and that. I was going to see some of their Aussie tours this year in July and that, in Germany and that, but... Yeah, plans of that have changed. But yeah, so this is going to be your final farm. Again, got your sheds over here and that. Oh yeah, I actually didn't, haven't seen a farm sign for this one yet, so... I'll go and look for that in a sec, but... Yeah, this is going to be your horse farm. That's got six horses. Got your stables over here and that. Oh yeah. So just having a look for like, your feeding points and that. Oh yeah, so... Feeding point is just here and that. Again, I'm not too familiar with some of these... Mods, like part of the required mods. So yeah, farm is just here, ain't it? So that one is the... Rukshof. Rukshof. Something like that. Again, I do apologise for butchering, but it's one of the things it's if I can pronounce it without being overly offensive or just downright disrespectful. There's trying and there's just tr not trying at all now. But yeah, if I, if I roughly pronounce it with some form of accuracy, I will give it a go. And yeah, so you may. I think that's it. That is the end of the map tour net. Yeah, I've looked at everything, looked at all the cell points and that, so... Yeah, again, overall not too bad. Ah, yeah, if I had to rate the map out of 10, or out of 5, sorry. It's one of those things, it's a... It's a simple, quaint, idyllic German map. I've been seeing these phrases throughout the map tour net, so... Honestly, I'll give it a four and a half out of five. Again, the half has been, yeah, marked down because of the core mods that, but yeah, I'll say four and a half or four point seven five. You know what? Four point seven five, because yeah, the only thing that's again I don't like about the map is the core mods, but at the end of the day, it's been done right. Ah, yeah, it's, yeah, KA seven seven E has done a good good thing with this map and that, so. Yeah, I do recommend this map, and if you're fun of small maps, German maps, or anything like that, then yeah, go ahead and download this map and play on it. So yeah, that's going to be end of the map tour of Altachy, Westerwald, Westerwald, by KA77E. And as always, hopefully join this map tour. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this is me from Everwood Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.